third time I tried recording this, my phone keeps running out of memory. But this is an electric bike update. Um, my dogs are just getting really annoyed right now. Sorry about that. But I'm trying to get an Arduino to work with my electric bike. I already made a code, which is one of the simplest codes. You just have to use a servo library. So simple things. Uh, but I'm using this as a punchiometer, as a throttle, um, sim uh, throttle like a semi, it's like a simulator throttle because they're all punchometers. The throttle 75 kilo ohms, this is 100 kilo ohms. It won't make a difference since it's only reading voltage. It's not actually reading the resistance. So. As you can hear right now, the motor is kind of humming. That's because this, my electronic speed controller runs backwards and forwards. So right now I'm trying to zero it out with a code. But, so that's a 100% zero. But oh, when I go a little bit back, like the max, like the zero, zero, zero for the, the this geometer, uh, it goes backwards a bit. And it's annoying because I can't start it up the motor like that. Because with an actual hand throttle, it has a spring, and the spring just jumps back. But, for full forward, it works perfectly. Right now, I have a, I have a slow start on it. Because I don't want to just jump. So there, it works full throttle. Nice, slow down. So what I'm trying to do is get rid of that negative signal right there. And what I'm doing is I'm just slowly changing the code. So this right here used to be a zero. Now it's a 90. So now I might make a 91 to see if I could get it to go down. 91. Upload the code. Okay, it's going at different speeds now. I think actually you gotta lower it. So if I go at 89. Load. No, I should have gone faster, so. Let's try 93. Yeah, it's like a puzzle game right here right now. You gotta figure out exactly the right. And that is a zero, 93, 180. That's a zero for me right now. So, as you can see, it's a 100% zero. If I go all the way down, there's nothing. Now if I go full throttle. I'm going up. Okay, I think going full throttle. Uh, the speedometer is showing my max speed. I always gone 32. That's like a full throttle. This is a simple circuit. If you guys are planning on making this circuit, you will have to just use a zero if your ESC has um, has no reverse, which mine does, and you can't. It's not a programmable ESC. And right now I'm powering the. Uh, Arduino with a computer, but I already have this plug here, and I'm planning on using a DC to DC converter, a tiny one, to put in here to at least lower at least to 12 volts because this battery is 36 when it's max charge, it's around um, 42. So, as you can see right now, it's working 100%. Since I don't have a <coughs> BESC or vehicle electronic fee controller, using this cheap one, it's supposed to work on 6S, but it works on 10S. It just blew the first caps it had to just change them out for a higher voltage. It gets quite warm. Um, 40 amps, that's overpowered for that tiny motor. That tiny motor, 50 watts, or it goes all the way to 500. But the battery max out of that, it just shuts down when you go to 500. Like if I try to... Slow down. The power cut off. As you can see there, no power. 
So if I turn this off, now if I zero this, it should start no problem. Okay. Yeah. Perfect, no problem. Before what used to happen, since it was no zero, like if I turn it off right now, it used to do this. It just beeps until it was zeroed and it was really hard to find this actual zero. And this code is pretty simple. You just had to use the like, hashtag include servo, the library servo, my servo. Then you gotta use analog read point. It basically just uses the analog read and then map to like basically map the punchometer. This one, if it's running backwards the motor. He's got to swap out the 1023 to here and then put a zero here. So just basically turn it around. And. Or just I could switch just two wires on my electric motor. Because. Since it's not actually connected to any hall. Since it's just a cheap electronic speed controller. That works. But that's my way of working with things right now. So if I actually make this number higher. Like if 100. And upload this code. Now it starts accelerating. But I'm gonna keep it on 83. And if anything changes, since length of wire is gonna change voltage, um, I just recalculate here how I'm doing it right now. And you see, just a simple Arduino could easily. So my problem, instead of buying a $100 vehicle electronic speed controller, um, I will prefer that, but just uh, this Arduino cost me $3. It took a month to wherever to change, not $3, actually it's around $10. Um, it could cost $3 to chip arrive from China, uh, but it cost me $10. The electronic speed controller I've been having it for a really really long time. Um it basically just saved me a lot of money. Now I'm just gonna get a hand throttle. I'm gonna have my full e-bike running. It before it used to run, but I, since to generate the PWM signal I was using a wireless remote controller, which kept losing signal because of the metal frame it was getting really annoying it would go full throttle on its own it was really unsafe i actually fell off once since it went full throttle i slammed on the front brake the wheel drifted like it locked the front wheel on gravel it went sideways i fell i had a stretch back muscle which was a pain it was really hard to deal with those like it just hurts really bad i almost tore the muscle the, the doctor said and that's about it. I don't know what to say. I'm just gonna pack everything in there. And that, that's a drone ESC. I don't even know why it's working on 10s lipo. It's only supposed to work max on 24. But it's working at least. I tried another 6s ESC I had back there. That one just blew into pieces immediately because that one did not have reverse i wanted to make that more like make my life easier but as soon as i connected it it starts smoking not a good idea Whoop. but i do have that three light three s lipo okay i'm gonna unplug the computer so it doesn't give me a second Okay, so you can see right now that USB is unplugged. It's getting powered by that battery, and it still works. So I'll make another update video once I get it all running. That will be in about a month, or when I get an, uh, an actual hand throttle. Earlier, I was using this little cheap thingy. Uh, that actual thing fell off, but it was like a lever to work as a hand throttle. It kept going off by out of um, balance and it was connected to a cheap like, circuit board and everything. But it's always fun riding an electric bike or any electric vehicle back. Just a simple, simple code. 
I think no more than 30 lines, so not even more than 10 lines of code. You got an amazing analog to PWM converter, even that's a big one. I might actually think to switch into an Arduino Nano, Arduino Pro, or something. I don't know what they call it, but there's like a tiny board. And that would work much better since I could fit it in there and I could also fit the voltage regulator. Oh, sorry about that. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.